hello my people welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video we are going to be making a greasy soup i know it's been a long time guys but here we are for these ingredients we have our main ingredients a goosey seed our momo goat meat this is fresh and this is dry goat meat fresh fish pepper onions and we have chopped onions we have smoked fish this is smoked fish and we have crayfish and stockfish well this is our seasoning cube and salt so guys we are going to start by boiling our meat and fish so guys we are going to start by adding our goat meat into our pot we are going to add our seasoning cube Oh, we are going to add it like this and we are going to add our salt we are going to add our chopped onions a little we are going to add water and let it cover it so guys we are going to allow this to cook before we add our fish we are going to cover this and let it to cook thoroughly cooked so guys we are going to add our water into our egusi and mix it together this is the water i got from my pepper i'm going to add it and mix it thoroughly very very well so guys our pan or our pot is already on the fire and we are going to add our oil We are just going to allow the oil to heat a little just a little before we add our chopped onions so guys i want my fish to be thoroughly done before i add it inside my egusi because of that i'm going to be adding my fish inside my meat because the meat is almost done We are going to cover this and let it cook until everything is thoroughly cooked. And we are going to go back to our egusi. So guys, this is our egusi paste. And we are going to start by adding, adding our chopped onions. We are going to give this a good stir. So guys, we are going to allow this to fry for some minutes before we add our pepper mix. So guys, we are going to add our pepper blend and onions blend. And we are going to give this a good stir. Because of the aroma, I'm going to add my locust beans earlier and my grounded crayfish. So guys, we are going to add our locust beans. I love the aroma when you add it earlier. Our locust beans. I leave my own inside the fridge. This has been in the fridge for like six months or even more than so guys we are going to make sure our locust beans is mixed together is somehow blocked but we are just going to stir them together so guys we are going to add our crayfish not everything but just add half of it for the moment this is our roughly blend you can blend your old spoons but i love my roughly blend and we are going to give it a stir and we are going to allow this to cook and fry for some minutes before we add our eco paste so guys we are going to start by adding our eco paste
I know some of you will be wondering where I have been. I have not been posting. So guys, I decided to travel to Africa for the first time after many years. And I just got back and I decided to meet my husband favorite because he has been at home working and while we me and his children we went and go and enjoy a little bit so it's time for him to enjoy too i decided to make this yummy ekusi soup special for him so guys we are going to add it like this so guys i decided to use my hands because why not this is the best and you are going to remove all the paste from the bowl guys we are going to leave this to steam up for some minutes before we stir them together so guys this is after a few minutes and we are going to stir them together thoroughly try and make this guys you are going to love it your husband your boyfriend your friends and family your mom your dad anyone even you guys you are going to love it we are going to keep on stirring it keep on stirring it stirring it stirring it We are going to keep on stirring it on a low heat too, so that it don't get burnt. And we are going to leave it for some minutes. So guys, we are going to keep on stirring it. I decided to change my spoon because this is the best. Stir it thoroughly don't allow it to get burned <coughs> sorry guys so guys if today is your first time visiting my page thank you so much for visiting Bella's kitchen please guys don't forget to like share to your friends and family and turn on the notification button subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment how you truly feel about this video guys thank you for my old and new subscribers your girl really appreciates i really do guys thank you so much without you there will be no bella's kitchen thank you thank you thank you thank you so guys we are going to keep on stirring it keep on turning it turn it very well so that your ego safe don't get burnt So guys, did you see how I go see? Your egusi have to look like this. Just like how your eggs looks sometimes. And we are going to start adding our ingredients, our water, everything, fish, what you are going to use in making your egusi. Any protein of your choice. First, we are going to add our salt, our mint stock. So guys, this is our meat stock, fish and meat stock. We are going to stir this. You can decide to use your fish on boil. You can use the fresh one like that. But I just want my fish to be more, more like this. I want it to be very done and cook. I don't want to, you know. So guys, we are going to add fish. This is our smoked fish, dry fish. I decided to bone it and break it because of my kids. So guys, we are going to give it a good stir. And we are going to add our cow skin. That is my favorite part. And we are going to give it a good stir. So guys, we are going to add our smoke 
goat's meat. So I figured it out that the smoke goat meat was going to two months because the soup is already overload. So guys, I decided to add a little, not so little, and we are going to add more water for the egusi to done very well. How can I forget my guess what guys? Guess what guys? Starfish. I can't forget this guys. So we are going to add our water. This is the water I use in my goosey. We are going to add this and we are going to add more because the goosey has to be very very done. More. And we are going to stir this together. Now we are going to taste for salt, for seasoning and pepper. We are going to add our seasoning cube. So guys, we are going to add our seasoning cube. I'm using non cube, non cube. And we are going to add the remaining of our crayfish. So guys, we are going to stir this thoroughly. Miss. We are going to stir this very well. And we are going to allow this to cook. Just allow it to cook to your taste until you know, yes, my soup is ready. So guys, this is after a few minutes. Did you see the look? The look, did you see it guys? We are going to give this a good stir and taste and see if our igusi is ready. So guys, we are going to give this a good stir. Did you see that guys? The egusi is, this is just the beginning of this egusi. We are still going to leave it to cook because it's not yet done. Mm, we are going to add a little bit of salt because this soup needs a little bit of salt. Just a little. And we are still going to cover this and let it cook more. So guys, did you see that? It's looking so beautiful and delicious. So guys, we are going to give this a good stir and we are going to add our bitter leaf and scent leaf. I'm going to be using dry bitter leaf and scent leaf. We are going to add and guys, we are going to give this a good stir and allow this to steam up for like five minutes and our fantastic beautiful delicious egusi soup will be ready i can't wait for my husband to taste this after a long one month so guys we are going to leave this to steamer for some minutes and we are going to be back so guys did you see that The soup is looking so good, just and delicious, guys. Did you see how beautiful the soup looks? So, guys, we are going to start serving. We already have our pardon yam. You can use anything to eat this soup. You can use rice, pardon yam, even yam, guys. Yes, yam, you can use it. So, we are going to serve this. Did you see that? This is my pardon yam. I already have it. Not for me though, for my husband. And we are going to serve this soup. 
we are going to serve this so guys this is the end of our video guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you i really appreciate thank you don't forget to subscribe to your girl youtube channel and don't forget to like share and turn on the notification button in case i upload new video you will be the first to see my video thank you guys bye see you on my next video bye